Hey, what's up guys? Um, today I'm going to talk about uh, symmetry operations and this is going to be the first of a series on point groups. So, eventually I'm going to talk about how to use point groups and find point groups of molecules and then find the infrared stretching bands that you'll see in those molecules. So, first off let's talk about the symmetry operations. The first one we're going to talk about is the C operation, which is the rotation operation. And what it is, is it's just a rotation about an axis. And the way it works is a C2, in this case, it would be a 180 degree rotation. And what happens is, you'll have C and then N, and then it's basically 306 degrees divided by N and that's how many degrees of rotation. So, a C3 would obviously be 120 degrees. So what kind of molecules would you see a, a rotation axis in? Well, actually most of them that you're looking for with point groups. In fact, the main way we categorize point groups for molecules, for small molecules at least, is um, by rotation axes. So, for instance, let's take, uh, let's draw a real one, BH3. Now this is a trigonal planar molecule, and each of these angles here is 120 degrees. So in this case, it would have a C3 axis right down the middle of it, C3. So if you looked at it flat, you'd see the H's, there's B, there's an H, there's another H back here. The C3 axis goes right down the middle here. Now also, this molecule has a C2 axis perpendicular to the C3 axis. So let me get a new page here. Um, again, here's the base molecule, the BH3. And it has 120 degree bond angles. Now if you rotate this and look at it from the side, and that H is going straight back, you have a C2 axis straight back along that H. And then you can rotate these H's 180 degrees. Now the point of these rotation axes is it means you can rotate the molecule X degrees and it's going to look exactly the same as it was before. It's got symmetry along that axis. So let's do a couple more. Um, let's go with benzene. Benzene has a C6 right down the middle. But also, benzene has a C3 right down the middle. Because if you can turn this one one segment, I guess you could say. Obviously you can turn it two also. And you know, it might follow from that that benzene also has a C2 axis down the middle. Now in your character table, um, you will see if you look at the point group for benzene, and benzene point group, it happens to be, let me think about this, it's um, it would be D6H. So if you look at that point group, which, trust me, you'd never solve something like this because that would be a pain in the ass to solve. But you'll see it has the two C6 axes, two C3s, and a C2 in it. And then it has, a, it has multiple C2 primes, which means just from a different angle. But anyway. 
that's our intro to point to uh, symmetry operations, and that's just the C. Next time I'll do, um, we'll do reflection planes next time.